After finally learning a bit of the backstory and lore surrounding the Knights of Ren, and seeing Ben Solo's early decisions that would push him into an alliance with Snow, the second issue in the Rise of Kylo Ren comic series starts where the first issue ended. We see Snoke speaking with Ben upon a greenhouse-like world full of vibrant trees and plants. However, it isn't a natural world, as Snoke explains it was built by those who were trying to hold back the dark side of the Force, creating a beacon of light within what Snoke refers to as, in a similar way as the Knights of Ren, the Great Shadow. But the location is also a lesson for Ben, as Snoke shows the destruction brought to those who denied the reality of the dark side. Snoke and Ben then discuss the former Jedi's desire to meet the Knights of Ren and learn from them. While Snoke believes their order could be instructive for him, he also warns that the Knights might not be interested in Ben Solo, prompting Ben to reveal his hatred for his own name, the product of lies and legends he didn't know. After Snoke dismissed an incoming transmission from Brendel Hux, we see Ben get his first indication of the growing First Order in the galaxy, with Snoke withholding information about it at that time and simply referring to them as his friends. Instead, Snoke tells Ben he must find his true name, and in order to do so and use it to join the Knights, he must fully embrace the dark side and become his true self, just as he became Snoke. Although Snoke wouldn't reveal the location of the Knights, leaving it as a test for Ben, he told Ben to remember what he knew about them, as he'd met their order once before, giving him a place to start with his search. With that, the issue provides us with a flashback to years earlier, when Ben went on a mission with Luke Skywalker and Lor Senteca to find an ancient Jedi outpost on the edges of the Outer Rim. They believed it could provide a number of important Jedi artifacts for Luke from an era that Lore believed went back to the High Republic era, a time of significant Jedi activity throughout the galaxy. But on the way, we see that even then, Snoke had a significant influence on Ben, speaking to him through the Force, unbeknownst to even Luke. Their conversation revealed that Ben was frustrated with missions like this one, simply searching for yet more Jedi artifacts. Snoke played into this frustration, suggesting Luke was holding him back, keeping him from realizing his true capabilities, which Snoke promised would be realized at some point. Their connection was broken when Luke turned to tell Ben that they were approaching the planet, trying to get his nephew to look forward to potentially finding ancient weapons, and not merely insights into the old Jedi. After going to the surface of the planet, they found the outpost, prominently displaying the symbol of the Jedi with massive statues of knights holding lightsabers. As Luke described the dangers of entering such a place, the three of them went inside to find that it wasn't an outpost at all, but a storage site that was a treasure trove of ancient Jedi artifacts. As Lore explained his excitement for their uncovering the location, Luke believed it could be even more promising than Jocasta News Cache, a great callback to Jocasta's arc in the 2017 Darth Vader comic series. However, their excitement quickly diminished when Luke and Ben sensed something cold, revealing that Ren and his knights had also entered the storage site. Ren explained that they were claiming the artifacts for themselves, giving Luke the option of leaving it all to them without a fight. Luke rejected the idea immediately, stating that everything belonged to the Jedi Order, which at that point meant him. But Luke would protect them regardless, as he sensed the dark side within the knights. Clearly at an impasse, Luke ignited his lightsaber and instructed Ben to protect Lor Senteca, as Ren released his knights upon Luke, all six of them descending upon the Jedi at once. Although significantly outnumbered, Luke noted that he had a powerful ally in the Force, echoing the words of Yoda. As the knights attacked with their melee weapons and blasters, Luke would defend himself against every attack thrown at him, pointing out that they were using the dark side as a hammer, while he used the light as a blade. After using his lightsaber in the Force to destroy the weapons of the knights and push them back, Ren found that it was only him and Luke to keep up the fight. As Ren took notice of Luke's obvious strength, he triggered something within his lightsaber, explaining if it ever left his hand, it would explode and destroy everything and everyone within the outpost. After Luke was still confident he would eventually emerge victorious, Ren wasn't one to argue, realizing it was best if he and his knights left to fight another day. But before leaving the outpost, Ren would explain that while Luke could sense the dark side, or shadow as Ren called it, within the knights, he noted that Ben had the shadow within him as well, warning Luke to be careful of his apprentice. Ren would then remove his helmet and explain to Ben that there were other paths he could take that didn't include Luke, telling Ben if he ever wanted to learn more about his shadow, he should find the knights, throwing his helmet to the ground. The issue ends by going back into the present, with Ben again traveling to the Jedi storage site to find the helmet that was still where Ren had dropped it years earlier. 
After Ben picked it up and placed it upon himself, Ren spoke to Ben, and after explaining he needed somewhere to go, Ren told him to meet them on Vanrak within the mid rim. Ben now had his path to the Knights of Ren, but the issue ends by showing he would first have to confront the three students who survived the destruction of Luke's Jedi Temple, who were still very much in pursuit of Ben. So there we have it, Luke's confrontation with the Knights of Ren. Thank you very much to all of the Patreon members of Star Wars Reading Club, as your support is so greatly appreciated. You can find all of our social media links and a link to our Star Wars gaming channel in the description below for updates and even more Star Wars content. We love making these videos, so why not subscribe for more fun Star Wars theories and discussions. Also, if you enjoyed the video, think about giving a like or leaving a comment. If not for me... For more lightsaber rifles!